Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing great. In this video, we're going to talk about Mera Hash. There's a lot to discuss about in this video, but we'll be focusing on the forging section because this is one of the biggest reason, or I must say, one of the coolest reason that sets Mera Hash apart from rest of the cryptocurrency based projects in the industry right now. So, uh, let's start with what exactly is MetaHash. So it is a new generation blockchain, claims to be blockchain 4.0, promising millions of transactions per second. And apart from that, it provides a platform for decentralized application to be built on it. We've heard of similar services in the market because uh, Ethereum is doing so, uh, EOS is doing, and there are plenty of others pro uh, providing such similar kind of services. So how come MetaHash is different from all these services what makes it different and that is forging and this is what the video is focused on we're going to talk about forging in detail but the project is also divided into four components i'm not digging deeper into the component section of the project because you can all the time visit their website get details of each and every component over there about their blockchain about their smart contract about their Depths uh, directory about the cryptocurrency you can find every information in their white paper and on their website absolutely now let's talk about the forging part so before having a better understanding of forging we must understand what exactly is mining and most of you who are watching this video i'm sure you must be aware of what exactly is mining because it exists since the time of bitcoin and back then proof of work used to be one of the most popular consensus algorithm it is still being used with by a number of cryptocurrencies in the market right now but back then it used to be one of the most popular and we know that what was the condition in BTC that when a transaction was to be taken place that transaction was to be verified and these so called miners were responsible for verifying these transactions and they were installing a lot of their hardwares with a lot of hash powers to calculate the puzzles problem mathematical puzzles and this is how the transactions were verified and after verifying a certain number of uh, transaction a block was generated and whenever a miner generated a block he was rewarded with some new bitcoins new bitcoins in sense because these were the coins that were to be emitted into the market because there was certain number of coins that were already circulating in the market but the new coins that have to be entered that have to be emitted into the market these were rewarded to the block generators this was in the case in the case of uh, mining so when it was realized that uh, proof of work had some downsides like it used to consume a lot of energy every transaction so proof of stake came into existence and in the case of proof of stake every coin holder who wants to be a block generator needs to put some coins on stake and then it was chosen by the network that who is going to be the next block generator so to be a uh, a block generator you need to put some coins on a stake the more number of coins you put on a stake the more are the chances that you will be chosen by the network as a block generator and every transaction after being selected as a block generator every transaction that you verify that same transaction is being verified by your left node and the right node in the network and when they say that the transaction verified by you is valid then the transaction is actually verified and if any one of them says that uh, the transaction that you have verified is actually invalid some of the coins from you that you have put in on the stake are being deducted because as that was kind of a punishment that uh, that was kind of an algorithm that was built on that only the valid transaction need to be verified so once the transaction is verified this is how the block generation was done and once the block was generated the the coins were rewarded to these stakeholders in the case of proof of stake only one block generator was chosen but MetaHash came up with a different idea more innovative idea and really an absolute masterpiece because they are giving a chance to every participant in the network to come together and form a block so here in the case of multi proof of stake what exactly is being happening is that every single participant who wants to be uh, to be a block generator they are coming together and they together are forming a block and the rewards that are being 
given to these are given are distributed among everyone so we'll get into the reward section now but uh, i guess you have a better understanding of what exactly mining was what exactly proof of stake was and what exactly is multi proof of stake now let's talk about how exactly forging is set up and how exactly the reward distribution is being done in case of uh, meta hash so in the case of uh, meta hash the rewards are distributed among the network because we know that the block generation was not done single handedly because all the participants in the network came together to form that block so the rewards are also being distributed among them and for the reward distribution a pool has been created and this this pool contains uh, consists of uh, meta hash coin owners network servers or you can call them the nodes on the active wallet and what they consider an uh, active wallet at least a wallet containing a minimum of uh, 100 meta hash coins is being considered as active wallet and uh, the share percentage of all these trees are 50% of the rewards goes to meta hash coin owners 40% goes to network servers and 10% goes to active wallets so you can uh, have a wallet keep uh, at least 100 meta hash coins in them and uh, you can claim your commission out of this share and you can set up a node and of course you can share claim your commission from this share and meta hash coin owners actually who exactly are they see suppose in the beginning the says uh, about the total circulation that has to be taken place the total 100% of the coins 30% of the coins came out in the form of ico out of which a certain percentage was given to the founders of the project and the other were the early investors in the in the icos and the rest of the coins were not existing at the time of ico they were to be emitted later on into the network and out of these 70% 50% of the coins were to be emitted out in the form of forging in the form of rewards of course with the help of forging and this is how the reward distribution section is entirely different and that is why i I mentioned in the very beginning that forging in the case of meta has sets it apart from rest of the projects in the market right now because this is how everyone you can set up a node you can earn a commission over here you can have a active wallet you can earn a commission over here you can have a uh, you can be a owner because you can always buy some coins and you can keep in your uh, wallet and of course you can share a claim a commission over here so in every case that's a kind of a win win like situation and uh, you earning in every form in every form you earning it so this is how meta hash is quite different from others i actually like the concept very much hope you liked it too and uh, maybe if you have any question you can put up in the comment section and we'll love to answer them and hope you like our video uh, maybe i'm able to explain what exactly is forging how it is exactly different from uh, it's never been seen in any of the other concept so that's it for today thank you